the social platform is all about actually being able to have emotional uh, involvement with a viewer in a different way. You know, what I've learned about Facebook is it's not so much a news story that people want, it's a shared experience. It's something that's personally relevant to them. If I do that, if I can find things that are personally relevant to them or an experience that we can all share together, people will, will respond. It's much more of a conversation where on a newscast, it still is, honestly, we're talking to people. We know when we've engaged with somebody because they like something that we've posted, they comment on it, or maybe they share it with somebody else. That's generally the way we know that they've engaged, and that's kind of how Facebook measures it. Posting something is not good enough. It's posting something that creates engagement by um, the reader on Facebook, as an example. The algorithms they use, it's just like high school. If you're popular, you get more popular. And if you're not, no one looks at you or pays any attention to you. We know from the metrics that pictures are a big thing on Facebook. And so if you're not putting a picture with a post, it may not get seen. Twitter is great for reporters, the, the Twitter jockeys we call them. They're out in the community and they're tweeting what they see, what the story they're working on, what's going on. And Facebook is a great vehicle for anchors to create relationships with people. And they should post breaking news and weather and, and, and things that people really want to get uh, anytime. But I think they should also be uh, not, not afraid to show the pictures that they shot at the school where they went and talk to a class or an occasional, you know, picture that they might have taken, you know, behind the scenes of somebody brought in a birthday cake for, you know, somebody that was having a birthday or whatever. A little behind the scenes stuff is really cool. I think you can get too personal. Here's all my vacation photos and me and my Speedo probably not a good idea. Um, so I think, you know, you got to be careful there and, and common sense should rule the day. So if you want to be part of the, the, the stations that, that win from social lift, you're going to have to start figuring out how you measure social media now. Because if you can't measure it, you really can't manage it, right? We can say we want to have a great Facebook feed. We can say we want to get after Twitter and all that kind of stuff. And then if we don't go back and count, and see what, how, many, how many we did and how many had engagement, whether they be posts or tweets, um, then we don't really know whether it would be effective toward that end or not and whether or not we're going to get that social lift. You know, engaging in Facebook isn't about an advertisement. Engaging in Facebook is about very real, personal information that touches and is relevant to me. What did I just say? It's the same way we get people to keep watching television newscast. We give them relevant information that's important to their lives, that means something to them. That's what keeps people coming back. You want to give enough information there to where the, if, if somebody reads it, they think they've, they've actually gotten something. And then, you know, below it, you can talk about how the reporter is still working on that story uh, in that specific town and will have a live shot coming up at X, Y, or Z time. I think that's fine. If the very first part of the, the feed or the very first part of the post says, coming up tonight at 6, it's like, well, thanks, Grandpa. You don't get, you don't get Facebook. You know, I don't want to be teased. And, you know, this is not a tease platform for me. This is not why I followed you. Usable content is the kind of content that is meaningful to me on a personal level. And so the idea of promotional material isn't really usable content to me. But information, photos, um, videos, information that touches me and that I can then take and use later, that's the kind of content that keeps me coming back. Should we listen to social media? Absolutely. Should we see that's going on or this is going on and maybe that's a story? Sure, from time to time. But I hope we're not coming to the day where we say we're only covering the stuff that has already showed that it has a lot of, of interest over on social media, so we're going to make great television. We are still, still the gatekeepers of journalism. We are still the place that people trust to confirm information that they've heard. We can never lose sight of the idea that good, powerful journalism, done with integrity, will continue bringing people to our products, whatever those products might be. So that means we have to do journalism ethically. We have to do journalism with integrity. We have to teach our people how to do great journalism. They're still putting words and pictures together in order to tell good stories that are important for people to hear even if it's in 140 characters.